In this video clip, I will show you how you can view the species pro properties for a project. So to start, please open the project that we've been using in the tutorial. If you click on File, it should be in the list of recently opened projects. So in my case, it's this project here at the top of the list. If I click on that, it will open the project. To see the species properties, if we click on Species from the menu, we have a list of different ways that we can look at the species. The next one down is View Properties. This window allows you to view the calculated properties of all of the species in the project. So I'm looking at the Thermo 1 tab, and you can see here's a list of all the species. If I click down, I can go down to all the solids. And what it does is it allows you to have a look at what's the properties as they're calculated at the temperature and pressure. So for instance, at the moment, I'm at 50 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere. And here you can see, for instance, for steam, I've got a CP of 2.31, and your enthalpy values as shown here. And there are your values for water down here, a CP of 4.18. So instead of 550 degrees Celsius, let me change it to something like 120 degrees Celsius. And there you will see your CPs have changed, your enthalpies have changed. We're now looking at those values at that, those temperatures and pressures. We're looking at the CP values, for instance, in kilojoules per kilogram. But if I right click on that field, I can change the conversion and I can look at that in kilo, kilocalories per kilogram. So if I click on that, I'm now looking at the kilocalories. In addition to which, we're looking at the mass basis but I could change it to look at the molecular basis. So if I just untick this box, you'll see now I'm looking at kilojoules per kilomole, and all those values are the molecular values. Clicking changes them back to the mass values. The Thermo 2 page is giving me my entropies, my Gibbs free energy, and so on. The vapors page gives me my vapor properties for all the vapors in my project, again, at the temperatures and pressures that I specify. The liquids will give me the liquid properties, including if you have any density correction, boiling point elevation, solubility values. So for instance, if we have a look here at our copper sulfate, we had 120 degrees at the moment, and you can see the boiling point elevation is 0.5346. If I go and I change this to, say, 50 degrees, then the boiling point is the same, but my density is now different. My solids will give the density at the temperature and pressure. On the definition page, we have the molecular weight of each of the species, plus the component name and the standard species info. Other just gives us our symbol and tags and the phases. And elements will give us the molecular weight of all the elements that are used in the project. I hope that helps you with having a look at your species information in a SysCAD project.